so this is problem 3 on uh, uh, resolution and composition of forces we go through the problem four coplanar forces acting at a point are shown in figure okay there are four coplanar forces force p 500 newton 200 newton and one more 200 newton here one of the forces is unknown that is p and its magnitude is shown in p the resultant has a magnitude of 500 newton and is acting along y axis okay i will highlight this resultant force okay that the resultant of all these four forces 200 newton p 500 newton and 200 newton is 500 newton and it is acting along the x axis determine the unknown force p and its inclination with the x axis theta we need to find the p and theta okay now here uh, the resultant force is given and one of the force in the system of forces is not given means that is that is that, that is what the unknown here that you need to find here okay so i will go to the note here an important note so if the resultant say so this is this belongs to second case this problem becomes a second case resultant lies in the x axis correct so if the resultant lies in the x axis we have two conditions sigma fx equal to r and sigma f y equal to zero so we have to utilize these two conditions to solve this particular problem okay so resultant lies in x axis solution resultant resultant lies in x axis okay so according to this node number 2 so it, be, it falls under node number 2 the resultant lies in the x axis if, if resultant lies in the x axis sigma fx equal to r and sigma f y equal to 0 i will write both the conditions here therefore sigma fx is equal to r and sigma f y is equal to 0 okay so magnitude of the resultant force is given 500 newton correct magnitude of the resultant force is given therefore sigma fx is equal to r is equal to magnitude of the resultant force is given as 500 newton so it is 500 newton okay now i'll take the second condition sigma fi is equal to 0 sigma fi is equal to 0 okay now we have determined sigma fx and sigma fi using uh, the resultant force okay sigma fx equal to 500 newton sigma fi equal to 0 i'll take uh, sigma fx equal to 500 newton now sigma fx is equal to 500 newton okay now you find sigma fx using the system of forces you find sigma fx using system of forces before that write the components for all the inclined forces for 500 newton force it will be 500 cos 30 vertical component is 500 sin 30 for force p horizontal component t cos theta vertical component p sin theta for this 200 newton force horizontal component 200 cos 45 vertical component 200 sin 45 okay now sigma fx equal to 500 newton force now you find sigma fx using system of forces using system of forces alone means using all these three all these four forces including force p okay so 500 cos 30 it is acting in left direction minus 500 cos 30 minus 500 cos 30 then minus p cos theta minus p cos theta then plus 200 cos 45 
okay the 200 cost for the acting in right direction sign is plus plus 200 cos 45 okay and 200 newton force is there that is purely acting in vertical direction okay so here we are finding some of forces in acting in x direction only three forces is equal to what is rhs 500 500 therefore from this we have to work out the answer for p cos theta if you work out the answer p cos theta value that you get is minus 791.6 Newton. Call this as equation number 1. Okay. Now, I have taken sigma fx equal to 500 Newton. I have determined the sigma fx using system of forces. We got the equation for p cos theta. Now, I will take the second condition. Sigma fi equal to 0. Now, take sigma fi is equal to 0. Means you find sigma fi using system of forces equated to 0. Means sum of forces in y direction. So 500 sin 30 acting in downward direction minus 500 sin 30 minus 500 sin 30 then plus p sin theta plus p sin theta then plus 200 sin 45 plus 200 sin 45 then uh, be careful you should not consider this resultant force while finding sigma fx and sigma fi using system of forces okay sometimes what you will do is uh, we will take this 500 newton also for example while finding sigma fx what you will do you will add for this 500 newton plus 500 if you do that uh, the solution will go wrong be careful okay here you are finding sigma fx and sigma fi using system of forces not using resultant force okay so plus 200 sin 45 here we have one more force 200 newton force acting in downward direction minus 200 minus 200 is equal to 0 therefore by this you will get the value of p sin theta p sin theta value that you get is 308.58 call this as equation number 2 okay so using equation 1 and 2 you can solve for p and theta okay squaring and adding equation uh, 1 and 2 you will get the value of p okay squaring and adding adding equation 1 and 2 p square sin square theta plus p square cos square theta p square cos square theta is equal to 308.58 square plus RHS of uh, first equation 791.6 square so I will ignore this negative sign because when you make it square it becomes plus so I will directly write plus 791.6 square okay if you take p square common in the bracket we will get sin square theta plus cos square theta the value of which is 1 is equal to so here uh, let me solve this 308.58 square plus 791.6 square Three zero eight point five eight five eight square plus seven ninety one point six square seven ninety one point six square it will be seven two one eight five two seven two one 852.17 so taking square root on both sides you will get the answer square root of answer square root of answer so the answer is 841.61 newton p is equal to 841.61 how much it is 841. 
uh, 61 yes 849 sorry 849 point 61 newton is the answer okay now you got the magnitude of force p uh, to solve for theta uh, you can do equation 2 divided by equation 1 equation 2 divided by equation 1 gives or else you can substitute the value of p either in equation 1 or equation 2 so to solve for theta so better to divide equation 2 divided by uh, 2 by 1 p sin theta by p cos theta is equal to p sin theta divided by p cos theta is equal to p sin theta value is uh, 308.58 p cos theta value is 791.6 newton 791.6 newton don't bother about the sign while finding the theta so p gets cancel sin theta by cos theta is tan theta tan theta is equal to so if you solve this so you will get 0.39 okay for theta is equal to tan inverse of 0.39 therefore theta is equal to 21.29 degree okay if you calculate tan inverse of 0.39 you will get the answer as 21.29 degree so to this we got uh unknown uh, force p and its inclination theta p p is equal to how much 849.61 newton and theta is equal to 21.29 degree okay so this completes the problem thank you